Now, uh, we all remember the whole drama that happened after the breakup between Jackie Matubia and Blessing Lungaho. Mm -hmm. We all remember that was just like a wholly different situation to be in. And then all the new boyfriends and the new potential bays that uh, Jackie Matubia has kind of showcased, but not really. Like, we don't really know what's going on in her love life. And obviously, we are curious. So, girl, please give us hints. But now, at least we have something coming on from the front of Blessing Lungaho. Blessing Lungaho has always been a very interesting person. And I feel like most of these men who who end up dating socialites or social media personalities aren't necessarily social media people but mm -hmm. they end up having a, a following and they end up now becoming content creators which is basically what happened with blessing lungaho right mm -hmm. now mr blessing lungaho has been very interesting with his subliminals about having a girlfriend or not having a girlfriend we all remember the nails and the fake plants and all of that the fake roses and we all came at him we're like ah why you jackie was like ah those nails are cheap she doesn't do cheap nails that like that we, we piled on a lot on this man but it seems that actually he's ready to showcase his girlfriend and um or at least he's ready to showcase us someone because he called her a bae on his social media mm. this has all been accumulation of him posting a series of different things i remember seeing a video of them together um coming out of a car or something like that and i'm like okay we see you blessing this particular video of her dressed in white i think they were getting into the car she looked really pretty of course they were taking uh shots from behind because for whatever reason we don't want to see her face we want to see her ass i don't know it is what it is but this actually became a lot more when we actually did manage to see her face and an actual bikini shot of her they were apparently in elementita where they were having an all-white party there were multiple other women there but he was very clear to state that she is bae and he was trying to you know incite us to like get to guess where they are or something of that sort but specifically he was like babe babe where are we what are we winning who can get here it just felt like a lot of that kind of energy and of course being the people that we are we went to her social media to check out what she does and all that's on her profile is that she is an upcoming blogger uh, she does have quite the following. She has about 36,000 followers on Instagram. She looks really beautiful. She seems like a, an interesting person who's just trying to make it in this um, inter internet sphere. So I have nothing to say about her specifically. She seems like a very chill person. She doesn't do too much makeup. Like she's a very just nice girl who's living her life. Just happens to be dating this person of interest who is blessing Ngaho, which then makes her a person of interest. Mm. I don't know it just feels like he's shoving her down our throats which again when you're in love do we do we say we Ooh. say nothing we are just happy for you blessing and we're happy for you irene and your upcoming beautiful relationship we, we, which we will definitely see unfolding in front of our eyes because clearly that is the trend that blessing lungaho is actually putting in front of us i don't know about you do you feel like it's um it, it, sometimes it can look like it's forced let it happen organically i i think that's how i'd take let it just happen organically we will fall in love with her and we will probably end up loving her a lot more than you but like let it happen organically don't like force things it felt very forced mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now i'm not one to gossip mm -mm. If, if anything i hate gossip of course but watching that video the whole um element video yeah. thing, i don't something in me was like uh, i got the ick immediately yeah. and i couldn't really understand what the reason was first of all she seems really young she does that's the thing that really stood out to me she's very young um you know as opposed to jackie who's you know a bit older mature. A bit more mature and him he's a bit older he's a bit mature but it just felt like she's just coming into her 20s you know she's mm -hmm. she, self-discovery journey and it took me back to my early 20s when i would date you know, older men. I, I don't know. It just, I was just like, eh. <laughs> that, that's the whole feeling. The ick. The ick got to me. But anyway, I'm happy for them. If they're happy, whom am I? Hey, who we have you? seen uh, relationships with significant uh, age differences actually thrive. We have Eric Mundi and Lean. They're thriving. They're good. Their family is cute. We have Fortune and Jemolem say they're cute. They're thriving. So whom's to say this too will not thrive? But it just felt like he's popping up with a hot new thing yeah. to rub it in our faces with. Yeah. It, it, 
it didn't feel organic. Yeah, that's felt, the thing. It just felt so forced. You know, it's like what okay, yeah, <laughs> this is this is my new girl. It just and even for her, you can almost tell that she's uncomfortable. Mm. But at the same time, it like what do we know? We are only seeing two seconds of this video anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was. I don't know why. I just felt uh, the ick mm. immediately. I was like, ah, There's where something is this? About it. You know, spirit of iteration coming from. I felt very bad after that, but you know. Uh, no one to live with regrets. Anyway. <laughs>